Hello friends, today we are going to read Bob Burke's set 5 long vowels. Let's start. Book 1. The Game. The Game. Jane had a ball and a bat. Jane liked to play baseball. She liked to pitch the ball. She liked to hit the ball. She liked to run. She called James and Jake and Dave and Kate. Let's play ball, she said. The game began. Jane hit the ball. Dave ran and ran. He got the ball. Jane ran to the base. She ran as fast as she could. Kate was playing first base. Dave threw the ball to Kate. Jane made it to the base. Jane was safe on first base. Kate threw the ball over the plate. James hit the ball hard. Kate ran and ran. Kate got the ball. She threw it to the base. James slide. James made it. He is okay. Jake made a long hit. He ran and ran. He got a home run. The ball game went on and on. The game went on until the sun set. Then Dave gave the ball and back to Jane. The players were tired. The players were happy. Jane took the ball and bat. Jane went home. That was the end of the game. The end. Book 2. Joe's Toe. Joe's Toe. On a warm sunny day, Joe went on a bike ride. Joe drove fast. Joe drove too fast. Suddenly, Joe drove his bike over a bump. The bike hit a stone. Joe lost control of the bike. It bumped into a pole. Poor Joe had a jolt. Joe flew off the bike. He went head over heels. Joe took a nose dive. He broke his bike. He broke his big toe. Joe closed his eyes. He felt sad. This is no joke, said Joe. Joe wanted to go home, but he felt little hope for he was all alone. He could not ride the broken bike. He could not walk on the broken toe. Sam, Sam Joe was walking by. He saw sad Joe. He saw the bike. He saw the broken toe. I will help, said Sam. Sam took Joe to the doctor. The doctor fixed the broken knee. Sam found a good tool. Sam fixed the broken bike. The bike was okay. Joe had a good rest. Joe felt better soon. Thanks, Sam, said Joe. Then Sam and Joe went home. The end. Book 3. Bird's Nap Bird sat under a big green tree. Bird was sleepy. Bird had a nap. Three bees burst and the queen bee burst. The bees saw Bird sitting under the tree. Bird snoozed. Bird was fast asleep. The bees burst around Bird. Bird snoozed and snored. Bird did not see the bees. The bees did see Bird. The bees flew close. Bird snored on. Bird snored more. A bee sat on Bird's knee. A bee sat on Bird's head. A bee sat on Bird's hand. 
but did not feel the bees he did not move but snoozed and snored and moaned the bees flew off the bees flew from buttercup to buttercup a butterfly flew by the butterfly saw bird the butterfly sat on bird's nose suddenly bird woke up the bees burst in the buttercup the butterfly flew into the sky bird did not see the bees he did not see the butterfly bird jumped up he did not feel sleepy anymore the end book 4 the picnic jill likes tim she likes the beach jill had a good idea jill fixed a big picnic she had hot dog and buns she had green peas and beans she had meatball and peanut butter she had peaches and cream jill made hot tea she put the hot tea into a teapot she put the picnic in a basket it was finished jill put the picnic and the teapot into a big box she went to the beach she saw tim sitting in the sand tim sat by the sea the sun was hot the sand was warm jill and tim went for a swim it was a treat to swim in the chilly sea then they sat on the beach under a big umbrella it was time to eat the picnic Jill ate a hot dog and buns. Tim ate meatballs. Jill ate peas. Tim ate beans. Tim and Jill had peaches and cream. They sipped tea as they sat by the sea. It was good to sit in the sun. It was fun to swim in the sea. It was a treat to eat picnic at the beach. The end. book 5 the train the little train was painted black when it ran it its wheels went clickety click clickety click it had a big brake bell that went ding dong ding dong It ran on track that were both shiny and strong. The little train ran in the rain. It ran in the sun. It ran up the hill and down the hill. It went from town to town, but one day funny things made the little train stop. On the track was a big brown cow. Toot toot toot, ding dong, ding dong, was all in vain. It was plain that the cow was not afraid. She just stood and looked and wagged her tail. Get off, brown cow, the train man yelled. Shoo shoo, moo moo. What can we do the passenger said we paid our fare but we cannot go anywhere Soon a little maid came along with a shiny pail she sat down on stool next to the cow As the cow wagged her tail and moved at the train the maid bumped milk into the pail then the maid got up gave a little bow she went off down the track with a old brown cow at last the little black train started to move to to ding dong it sang every day it went from town to town but the little maid and the old brown cow never seen again 
Diyan. Book 6, The Visit. A mouse had a house in a stone wall. Toad lived down the hill on the other side of the road under a ra rock. Mouse and Toad were good pals. Mouse had a white phone. Toad had a red phone. Ring a ling rang Mouse phone. Hello, hello, she said. Hello, Mouse, said Toad. I miss you. I want to go to your house for a visit. Yes, yes, said the mouse. I will make us a pot of tea. She hung up the phone. She put the teapot on a stove. She sat out the cups. She swept the little house. Toad felt happy. He sang a little tune. Off to the mouse house. I will hop. I am so happy. I cannot stop. He put on his green coat and red slippers. Off road went up the road to the mouse house. At last he got to the crossroad. Toad saw the mouse house across the road. But in between on the busy road were cars, trucks, bikes, motorbikes and even a bus. All the drivers were speeding past. Toot toot, honk honk, beep beep. Stop, said the toad. Honk honk, went the cars. Soon, toad began to feel bad. He saw the mouse house across the road. When will I ever see mouse? When will I have a cup of tea? He said. He put a tiny food into the street. Beep beep. When the bikes, he jumped back. Mouse looked out. She saw Toad. She saw the roads. Help! Help! Help Toad. I am so unhappy. I cannot get across the road. Mouse held to stop and think, How will I help Toad? She asked herself. All of a sudden, she had a good idea. She took white paint and a big red cord on the side. She painted stop. On the other side, he painted toad crossing. She went outside with a bold sign. She waved it up and down. She turned it from side to side. The course stopped. The trucks stopped. The bike stopped. The motorbike stopped. Even the bus stopped. Toad looked to the left. He looked to the right. No wheels were moving within his side. He walked across the road and everything was all right. Thank you, Mouse. Toad grateful, grateful said. No problem, said Mouse. As the two went into the house. I am always happy to help a toad across the road. The end. Book 7. Chickens Chicken big and chicken little had two chairs, a big chair and a little chair. Who will get the big chair? said chicken little. Who will get the little chair? said the chicken pig. Let us play a game, they said. One, two, three, go. Chicken pig chased the chicken little across the room. Chicken little sat on the big chair. Chicken pig cheered and clapped her wings. Chicken little got up. She chased chicken pig. Chicken pig sat in the little chair. Chicken little cheered and clapped her wings, but all of a sudden, the little chair cracked, crooked and broke. Chicken big crashed to the ground. Chicken little ran to her friends. Okay, chicken big, she said. Chicken big checked her wings. She checked her legs. She nodded her head. Okay, chicken little, she bravely said. 
then let's play another game said chicken little one two three go and off they ran chicken little ran to the big chair chicken pig ran to the big chair they sat down together and as far as i know they are sitting there still the end book 8 the king in the spring the king sang a ringing song bang the gong clang the gong sing the song sang the king so the bell did rang and the gong did clang and the king with his song was happy in the spring in the happy kingdom there was a sad mad girl when the king passed she frowned and stamped her feet foot she did not smile she did not like his song she did not say long live the king the king was sad the king went to bed the king did not feel happy he did not feel proud on the hill top the king sang a sad song ding dong bling blong gong wong he said the noted were bad the music was was sad a little girl was little girl was mad she said with a glee the king does not sing all because of me the king was was wise and seldom wrong find the girl and bring her along he told his best man in the tone quite strong his man went to the girl he said in the tone very strong the king wants you to come along so the little girl went to the went to see the king her lips were down in front her cheeks were red she felt a little silly but still she was a mad what's wrong said the king why are you sad the little girl answered when she saw that the king was kind the friend is what i want to find the king was happy to hear what was wrong ho ho ha ha he he sang the king that was an ha that you can have as you will see the king and the little girl had a long talk they went for a walk they swam in the sea they looked at the book they looked at tv now at last we are friends said the king with a grin the little girl was happy to have found a friend so again that spring the king sang a, a ringing song the girls banged the gong she clanged the gong she sang the song she had a friend it was a happy time to be at the end the end i hope you love this book friends see you next time with a different book bye bye Thank <laughs> you.